here with Central High School head football coach, head basketball coach, and the father of Nebraska's newest commit, 2023 Massachusetts quarterback, Pop Watson. Coach, first of all, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Why Nebraska? I mean, obviously you've been pretty involved in this process. It was Pop's decision, but you've been, you know, scouting all the schools and everything. Why Nebraska? Um, from the things that he told me he wanted in college, um, Nebraska checks all the boxes. Um, what I mean by that is, um, they play in one of the best conferences in the country. The competition is right. Um, they have a supportive fan base. Um, so, you know, that that part, the school academically, um, he'll be able to fit in well there. Um, we, we had a chance to go up there um, and visit on junior day, talk to some of the athletes up there. I like how those young men carry themselves, and I like the conversations that we had when the coaches weren't around. Um, and so, it, and I also think that Nebraska is is a sleeping giant. To be honest with you, I think that they have an opportunity. When I was young, Nebraska was a, was a great program, and I think if things are done properly, um, they can be very successful again. So he has an opportunity to play with some of the best athletes in the country. Um, they're recruiting well, and I and I love the staff there right now. Um, Coach Whipple, obviously going over there, um, was a big deal for us because we love the system um, that he has. But I spoke got a chance to speak to Coach Frost as well. And on top of that, um, Coach Frost had a lot of success at UCF. And I think, he went, you know, he went over to Nebraska. And they, you know, they, they've had some bumps in the road, but I think he's made the right adjustments um, and, and has done what he, he's, he needs to do for them to be successful. And the reason I say that is every game they played in last year, the losses, they were very close games. And so, you know, that, that some of that is, you know, a mindset that has to be instilled in the team some experience and also just a couple of, you know, a couple more weapons. And you look at what they've done in the transfer portal. Um, you know, we love that. Um, love some of the athletes that they get. And they always seem to have good linemen. So, you know, they got a good lineman coach in there. They developed that. I think, you know, it's a, it'll be a great situation. He's got to work his way on, onto the field and, and take care of his business in the business. X's and O's wise, I mean, you've been Pop's play caller his whole life since forever. What is it about Coach Whipple's system that you think Pop can thrive in? Well, um, when you sit down and, and you listen to them install and talk about the system um, and, and just making sure you have an answer for everything. You know, um, you call a play. Why are you calling a play? Um, what, what happens if you see this coverage? What happens if you get, you know, a late late roll and this happens and, and everything is, you know, everything is there in the play and he coaches it clearly so that it's, e it's very easy to understand. And then it's done out of different formations. So once you learn the concepts, now you might, you know, you might learn seven concepts and that might be like 50 plays. You know what I mean? Because you can run it out of two by two. You can run it out of three by one. You can run it out of empty. You can run it out of... So, um, you know, I, I, he's done such a great job offensively. Look at what he did at Pitt. Um, he had a Heisman um, candidate and he had a, I think it was a Belitnikoff um, trophy winner. He knows how to recruit. He has a great eye for talent. He knows how to call plays, how to set it up. And I think it comes easy to him. To, uh, I'm talking about Coach Whipple. Um, and, and so, you know, from my standpoint, as a, as a father, um, I want to put my son in a situation where I feel like he has the best chance to succeed. And, you know, uh, he's one of the people that I feel like has, has that type of system. You guys are extremely close, you and Pop. You know, like I said, you've been coaching his whole life, but you've been a strong mentor for him his whole life. You had to kind of give the mic up quickly because you were getting a little choked up before he got it. Yeah. And then you guys embraced afterwards. I mean, you don't have to say what you guys were talking about, but what was that moment like when you embraced afterwards? It's, it's special. It's special. You know, I, I was just telling the, the other young lady, um, you know, your children are everything right in you. You know, you want to instill all the things that you did positive, and, and I wanted him to learn from the things I didn't do well, um, didn't do correctly when I was young. And so, um, you know, I was hard on him, um, you know, kind of stayed firm, but I knew it was for moments like this to happen down the road. And, um, you know, he, he, he's a he's a great young man, um, you know, very mature for his age, very competitive, um, but he's still learning, you know, still, still learning life. And, that, and that's another reason that I think it's a good place to send him because there's people there that can teach him um, while he's, you know, while he's still growing, it can teach him how to be, you know, a young man. But um, the moment was special. You know what I mean? I, I love him to death, and um, you know, I just want, I just want success for him. That, that's my main thing. And as a father, you want to try to put him in position as best you can to be successful. And you know, I think that was my job from the day he was born to now. And um, you know, him committing to Nebraska means we did a pretty, pretty decent job. 
Thanks a lot, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you.